My name is Terrence. I'm a software developer and personal development coach. This is day three of our series. And today we're going to talk about how to learn anything, AKA the library, the dojo and the streets. In today's world, it is critical that you know how to learn quickly and apply what you've learned at a high level. Now, this goes for things in your personal life as well as your professional life. My favorite way to learn any new concept uses something that I like to call the library, the dojo, and the streets. When you apply this system, it puts you on that virtuous cycle of learning. So I have used this system to do two really cool things in my life. One. I used it to learn Spanish at a high level. I was able to work as a bilingual staffer for a staffing company, and I did live Spanish interpreting services at my church for eight years because of the skills that I gained. Um, and the second really cool thing that I was able to do was transition from being an IT recruiter to a web designer to a software developer. So, Learning Spanish at a high level and being able to change my career as an adult both required a long-term game plan and this system helped me accomplish both of them. So I'm going to explain about the system first and then give a little more detail about how it can be applied. So the library. The library is the material that you learn from. It could be an audio course. It could be a video course. It could be learning from a teacher in a classroom. But it is a systematic, structured way to learn whatever content that you need for whatever you're trying to accomplish. The dojo. The dojo is a way for you to apply all of the things that you've been learning in the library. It's basically like going to the gym, where you go in, you put in the reps, you get stronger. So it's doing that but most likely it's gonna be in the realm of your mind, stronger for whatever skill that you are attempting to get better at, that you're attempting to get mastery at. And the streets. The streets are where you go out into the world and you create something, you speak to people, you do something that brings value to the marketplace. Now, if you do all three of these things, the library, the dojo, and the streets, it's going to put you on that positive feedback loop, the virtuous cycle that will allow you to go from glory to glory in whatever you choose. Here is the caveat. This is a time intensive system. And if you're under a time crunch, you can shorten the process. You can skip the dojo if you are truly under a time crunch but I would strongly encourage you to still do the library and the streets. I'll explain more about why later. So I'm gonna tell you about how I applied the library, the dojo and the streets to learning foreign languages and then later to software development. So if I'm learning a foreign language and I'm a huge fan of doing so, um, what the library is, is it is a course that you're gonna dive into, whether it be an audio course, video course, or a book. It's some sort of structured learning plan. Um, so I was able to do that by going to university and taking university classes. And then later on, I also studied abroad. So all of those were very structured processes. For the dojo, when I was learning most of my Spanish originally, I had some sort of dojo practice where it was spaced repetition or with flashcards. However, my favorite way to use the dojo these days is from a material, well, material from a company called Glossica. Um, everything that they create forces you to systematically speak out entire phrases for accelerated actual practice of the language. That is by far the best way to do the dojo that I have ever found. And so that didn't exist when I was first learning Spanish, but exists now. And it's definitely what I use for language acquisition these days. And I completely recommend that for anybody who wants to learn a language. And 
for the streets, it would be conversation partner, going out with people who speak the language, or church. Um, in my case, that is what I did. I had conversation partners. I hung out with people who spoke the language, and I went to church. <laughs> when I was abroad, I went to church. And uh, that's always super cool. Now, here's a quick story about why you want to spend time in the library as well as the streets. Like I said, the dojo also is amazing. So library, dojo, streets. But if you have to compress the time frame, library and streets. The reason why you don't skip the library is I got this lesson while I was in Korea. So I lived in Korea for three years and I hung around a, uh, a missionary who was awesome dude, awesome dude, learned a lot, of, learned a lot from him. Um, but the way that he learned Korean was he literally took a Korean dictionary and just went out and talked to people. This is brutal, but he did it. So his comprehension was good, his speaking was fast. But I didn't understand how well he spoke until one of his coworkers and I were talking. So we're in church and then she tells me, Terrence, you know, you speak better than the missionary. And I say, that can't be possible. He's been here for years. And she said, well, it's true. And I thought about it and I realized that my missionary friend never used the library. He hated traditional study. So he got all of his knowledge just from people talking. And the problem with just doing things from the street is that you have all sorts of knowledge gaps that could have been easily filled if you had followed some sort of structured plan. So make it easier on yourself. Don't skip the library. <laughs> now, when it comes to software development, the library would be taking a course, going through a boot camp, or in my case, going through launch code. The dojo is doing something like leak code or hacker rank, something where you have to apply what you're learning to very, very narrow problem sets and doing a lot of them so you get practice with that skill. And the streets is creating a project for yourself or working with others to build software. You can apply this system of the library, the dojo, and the streets to anything that you want to learn and it is an absolute game changer. So when applying the system, you do have to make sure that you are spending enough time in the streets. It is super easy to spend a lot of time in the library and the dojo and procrastinate going out into the world and actually applying what you're learning because it is comfortable. Mike Tyson was not playing around when he said, Everybody has a plan till they get punched in the mouth. Here's the reality. You need to be out in the streets applying what you're learning in a real setting to be able to actually coagulate the knowledge and solidify it into your brain to be useful skill on demand. So I suggest that you take the advice of one of my mentors who said that the ratio that you need to apply is Learn, apply, apply. Meaning one chunk of learning, two chunks of application. Yesterday, we talked about deep work. So what that looks like in this case is, let's say you're doing a 75 minute chunk of deep work. You want to take 25 minutes and do learning, and then 50 minutes and do applying or creation. So 25 minutes in the library, 50 minutes in the streets, or 25 minutes in the dojo, 50 minutes in the streets. If you have a 50 minute time block, 15 minutes of learning, 35 minutes of application. You want to keep that ratio. That way you're always, you're putting yourself into an amazing feedback loop of learn, apply, learn, apply. And again, then you're on that virtuous cycle taking you upwards. All right. So we've talked about how to learn anything, AKA the library, the dojo, and the streets. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the Q&A and see if anybody has any questions.
All right. I don't see any questions, so let's close in prayer. Father God, I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone who is watching and over everyone who will be watching in the future, God. Lord, thank you for letting them be able to apply this wisdom to their lives so they can go out and be the best that you have called them to be in the marketplace and in their homes. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right. Well, I'll see you all tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. CST. We're going to continue to get you on that virtuous cycle. I love you and God is for you.